so so we are going to study about table u table it's called table table u server and table u has a lot of product first of all table u online table u desktop and many more things why don't we use excel instead of table u that can be a question excel provides you bar graphs charts many type of plots but table u provides you to play with them like it is totally based on data visualization most of the companies use this like lenovo lufthansa uh honey and uh, some else so let's start directly go to the screen and start importing the files and do something to them so you as you can see there are there is a lot of options lot of files you can import in table u and start exploring them you can explore excel sx file text file json file let's do uh, and if you click it click in more it will allow you to insert any kind of file if it, if it, if table u supports it so let's start with desktop uh, i created ha huh? i'm going to take auto mobile data because uh, it's good and it's easy to uh, analyze it and some of the parts are difficult too but we will analyze easily with table u so as you can see that as i inserted it it directly shows me uh, all the columns and rows a uh, simple preview of uh, ev uh, every column and row here and if you scroll this bar you will also see many more things here which you can see whole table here and uh, one more thing uh, it allows in first page only like if i want to add some more sheets and make joins like we read in uh, database new join uh if you just i have to click on new union and i can uh, add a data file like this and it will be it can be joined to that data file according to uh, new join uh, left outer join right outer join full outer join but we don't need that so we will directly go to the data set now so here we are so as you can see the layout itself is very nice and uh, as of you all know this is a option to add a worksheet like same type of sheet you can add it and there is dashboard like you see an interactive dashboard table you are allowed to uh, make that kind of dashboard very easily and you can do it will be a live dashboard i will show you further so uh, let's start importing the files on sheet uh, i will start with importing uh, for example we want i want to compare how, which engine type has how much price like if a car is there if two cars are there this has a type of engine this is a type 2 of engine so what how the price will change according to the engine type let's do this okay so as you can see here are columns and rows i will drop drag and drop you just have to drag and drop here no issues uh, like i will see here um engine size and uh, uh, where is engine type okay here is the price i will drag price to drag price to here and row section as first of all it will show like this and when i will draw drag and drop engine type it will sort it according to engine type like uh, as you can see a d o h c d o h c these are of these are engine types and this thing is the price like you can see how much are it's going and in ohc type it is the most like that kind of visualization you can do easily by this table here now suppose i want to add some filter like i want only diesel car so i will add a filter fuel type uh, as fuel type i will drag and drop here so it will directly ask to me you want diesel or gas type as i can add both of them like i select both of them so as my expectation there will no change because we are not excluding anyone so if i said press okay you can see there is no change now if i want to change it show filter now as you can see in the right bar it is showing me all diesel gas now i will not select all i will select gas only so as you can see it will change the data like it is showing only uh, those cars which are which input fuel is only gas and i will de select diesel it will change as you can see it is changing so uh, we can add add colors to it like this 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 we can increase the size it will take time to 
in case because table is a big server now we can add labels we can add labels to here and uh, we can also do detailing of this now uh, let's go to dashboard like do something interactive now i will like you can see here it will give option uh, give option to me to create a new worksheet a new dashboard so let's create a new dashboard now as you can see a dashboard is kind of like blocks 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 uh, one type of showing is how how engine price is going high i want uh, to show how fuel type is changing like how price is changing according to the fuel type everything i can show in a interactive manner so let's add the sheet now i want to add this sheet here so i will directly drag and drop the sheet here now as you can see it will cover the whole of this part i want to cover only one block so what i will do i will click in the drop down menu and i will select floating so as you can see it is floating now it is not good to look so i will increase the size of it like this now it's good looking nice yeah so talking about ha uh, like i want something more on it like sheet 2 i want i can rename my sheet first of all i will like to rename it like i want it engine versus price engine type versus price okay i have to write it in this tag actually go control d yep and filtered by filtered by filtered by fuel type that's it so okay as it is changed now i want to add one more sheet so i will click here the new sheet is added now i will create a new sheet like uh, i want to check drive wheels and uh, i want to compare it with height of the car like this so a table view feature uh, what it does like it will automatically select you the best kind of graph like if i want to change the kind of graph i can do this i can do this it is changed but it is not looking good that's why table view gives you bar not because it is the best at this kind of changes now i didn't add it height i think sorry now uh, now height is added clearly i can do this it is also not showing a good so as table view does it gives us bar plot so we will going to go with bar plot now another sheet is added but i want to change its color to differentiate the type and i will also change the name drive v versus height Hmm. Okay. Let's do. Now I want a dashboard in which both of the thing is there. Now I have to just drag and drop the sheet. I will drag it here. Now again it is joined. I will press it. Convert it into floating. Now I can change it. I will make it here, and I want it somewhat bigger. i also want it somewhat bigger now cool now let's make it shorter only and make it shorter too now it is looking very nice i think because i can see clearly engine type is filtered by fuel and engine versus price graph price graph is shown clearly now drive wheel versus height graph is also shown clearly now i want uh, let's try different kind of graphs now uh now i will add a new sheet too let's add a, let's add horsepower horsepower thing here and number of cylinder requires to build that kind of horsepower now cool now let's see a pie chart no pie chart is not there let's see uh, this yep now this is good no this is not good actually ha huh, this is best only and now i will convert it into red as i can see it is showing me like 1k 
वन के हॉर्स पावर हैज हॉर्स नंबर ऑफ वट इज हाँ नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर्स लाइक फोर हॉर्स पावर वेन देर इज फोर नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर इट इज शोइंग विथ फोर्टीन के हॉर्स पावर now when there is 2 it is showing less when there is 6 it is showing like this but uh, actually the hot power is not directly depends on cylinder so we are not going to do that let's uh, we can also add some more things to it like engine type i, I can also add it will show me like this it's a great graph so i will now drag this sheet also to my dashboard sheet 3 dashboard Shape three here. I will make it floating. Now, yeah. Cool. So that's what about uh, all table things like. As you can see, a great dashboard is created, showing me drive wheels. Like a car lover can easily. Uh, choose cars and add data sets make their own data sets compare them and start doing exploring in table view so that's all about table view thank you